Hey, Hello. this is exciting. This is a wonderful day. It's amazing because someone here is finally getting their dream of visiting a country without going there. Yeah! And that is her. Your name is? Alyssa. And my name is Mike. And we have for you Universal... Yums! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Bang, bang, bang! Hung we have Hung Hung what? Hung Gu But <laughs> you mixed up but the bell. you listened but you hung. listened to the if you listen to our intro we just played, you may guess it by the music and tell them what it is without making it weird. Bang 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 I meant the oh. where we're going here. Oh Hung Ga South Korea. <laughs> South Korea and she's a big K pop fan, so this is like Also I just enjoy South Korean entertainment and so, customs. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this and let you see it first. So I want you to undo the thing so that. So Why that, you put it back? Because I'm um, safety first. We always put our blades back. Do that. All right, now let's. I'm gonna open this for them. Oh crikey! Look at that. Wrong Holy country. crikey! There's a bat in there. A wombat. Wrong country. Yeah. See that? Oh, so much excitement. I, I can guarantee you, you see nothing. It's just paper right there. Let's do it. Oh, you see a little Korea. Okay, so let me do this part. I want to. All right, so, okay, hey, we got it all open. We are finally ready, and we're going to show you what we've got here first. We're going to give paper. you that first look. So, yes, you're going to be the reader. Why don't you grab the paper first? Okay. And then show them, so, what, show them what it is on. Again, we have a ranker. Let's put that real close. It ranks all of our stuff. We did that on the last one. And then it has different places in Korea, like Busan, Seoul, uh, Bosang, yeah. Daejeon. All right, now I'm going to pick this little camera, and, and I'm going to let you guys oh, see all around. Busan. You take that off, and then you can see even more. Oh. All kinds of cool snacks in there. What's that little girl? I think all kinds of, yeah, I don't know where it's at, but then I get out of there. So! We got it open. We've showed you a little bit of what's in there. Now we're gonna do the flip. Nice. The flip to see who gets to pick who eats first. Why are we doing it with an SD card? Because I, you know <laughs> why. And you know why. We're not doing the one, two, three shoot. Because I don't do one, two, three shoot. I do one, two, three. And I'm not deciding on that with you. So right here is heads. Do you not have a corner? Right here is tails. I don't. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Ew. Oh, that was bad. Stop. Okay, here we go. This is why you don't flip SD cards. What did you call it? It's heads! Ah! I get to go first for the first oh, time man. ever! Woo! All right, so. So, number one item, up for bid. We're gonna go right with the first thing I see, and that is, you got you're the book person. I can, kettle chips. Cheddar cheese kettle chips. Kettle chips. Is that what that says? Kettle she actually can read a little bit of Korean. A little bit of the alphabet. You tap past it. Oh, no, right there. Cheddar cheese, kettle chip. Uh, eat your. Okay. South Korean are totally obsessed with cheese. Each year they spend over 500 million on cheese imports. Oh, my gosh. Making their cheese market the third fastest growing in the world. Wow. Wow. I thought that was a French thing. It's melt. Uh, but their cheesy obsession isn't just a number. It's melted right into South Korean culture and Seoul is fashionable to wear a t shirt or sweater that just says the word cheese. Wow! <laughs> I wish I had one that says cheese on right now. <laughs> but we're gonna try these and I'm gonna have her try these first. Yay! We can, but I was trying to do it in a way that you didn't open. So let's let them look and let them get get a nice look inside there. If you can see it all. They can. They can see a little on there. Now grab one out and put it right up there. Let's, like, we'll let you see. Oh, look at. Oh, they're like. It's like a big cornflake. Yeah, that's that looks tasty. Get, give it a bite. Let's see what you got going Whoa. on there. Right there is what it looks like. You don't yeah. like cheddar cheese. Well, you know, yes, full disclosure, but I do eat chips with cheese on them, so maybe, like, not real cheese, but like the powdered fake stuff. It just tastes like a lays. That's very cheesy. Sour cream and onion, lays. That's what it tastes like. That's very cheesy. I'm gonna say right now, probably not gonna be my favorite snack, and I think I made a good choice making you eat it first. I like it. Yeah. Now, yeah. Oh my god. Hey, get it. Chocolate pack. Okay, so cool stuff. That was great. 
Oh, so we're at snack number two. Snack number two is say it the with that. You said this word right here. Oh, hot hot gungjin chicken sack. It's hard for me to. It's basically hot chicken crunchy corn puffs. They're naturally flavored. I don't know what that means. Chicken hot. They take a hot chicken. Did they take that weird dude who plays everything with chickens and put them in there? Big yeah, Big Marble. There's something for you. Maybe we'll insert Big Marble image yeah. somewhere in here. <laughs> you, you need some of that in your life. Um, Maybe we'll, we'll link to him because I think he's worth a link. So so that is what it looks like. It has little chicken and... Uh, it contains Korean. meat. Does it contain meat? It says contains meat. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're doing this. So, I got it open. Now I'm gonna give you guys a nice look here. As you can see, it looks like popcorn. Kind of weird, kind of weird. So, I'm gonna pull one out. Oh, I didn't even tell you anything about it. See that right there? It's very corny looking. Oh my God. Anyways, here's a little very introduction. Very corny looking. Quick, what do Kentucky and Korea have in common? Hot chicken, baby. If you're stumped, look at this snack. That's flavored with real chicken and tastes exactly like fried chicken. Yep, the commonality is crispy fried chicken. <laughs> Prior to the Korean War, it was customary mm. to steam chicken in Korea, but when the U.S. troops introduced the country, the mm. deep fried variety became an overnight sensation. This, this right here, my favorite so far. Well, yeah, fried chicken is very popular. Usually they have it with some makju or beer. Chicken and beer, yep. Yeah, it's a very popular meal. Mm. What is that? Holy crap. What, spicy? <laughs> what is that? It's just chicken. It's like kettle corn, but spicy. Mmm, liking that. This right here, I don't know if there's anything that can beat it. This is so weird. Oh my god. But the chocolate pie. There's that, but I still don't know. I don't know. Maybe the dog you gotta... So that was really good. I don't think she was a fan. It was it, it was like it hit you. It's spicy. I like it. But it wasn't spicy to me. But it's like a kettle corn but spicy, and that's weird. It's a weird texture. I don't really see So yeah. snack number three from Korea. South Korea. It's Cosmos chocolate corn. Chocolate corn. And she says this is a lady is someone special. It says, well, it says it right here. Hello, Jadu. Hello, Jadu. Is that what this is? It it's Annyeong Jadu, yeah. Okay. I say it says, hello, Jabu. A Jadu. Hello, Jadu. Well, that's a yeah, so. There you go. See right there. You can see it right there. You it's can... a little girl. I've seen her around. Yeah, it looks tasty. Here, you can see the back too. Kiss um, friends. Kiss friends. This light airy puff is infused with chocolate and coconut. Inside and out. Resulting in a totally unique product. Unlike any other chocolate on earth. Oh, oh this smells so good when you open it. Back. Chocolate was again first introduced in the Korean War. When oh, the American soldiers gave their now Hershey this, rations to children. Oh, that's oh, so you. sweet. This is this smells great. So I'm gonna let her smell it first. Holy crap! It but, looks like the duck cookie strips. But I'm going first again because I like the looks of this. It looks well. I'm gonna give you guys a look now. It kind of looks like something you might find in your kit, kitty litter box, <laughs> or or if you have a very small dog with incontinence. Um, bubbles. Our dog. Our dog maybe. She's small. Okay. It looks like it does. Look it looks like a chocolate Cheeto. <laughs> it's a chocolate Cheeto. It's Cocoa Puffs. And I love Cocoa Puffs. This snack is amazing. Now, this one's really good, but they're both great in different ways. Holy crap, this is a Cocoa Puff. This is a Cocoa It's like a fluffy Cocoa Puff. It's like, it mushes, kind of. Mm -hmm. The way it detects a Cocoa Puff's a little rough. Remember um, our Japan candy video with the fish? The, yeah, yeah, the fish. It's it has the kind texture of, that, of that fish. The wafer texture of the fish, but it's not a wafer. But it's like cool, like the fish. Like the fish was unusually like cold. Yeah, yeah, this are really good. We got mm, yeah. to run out of that for here. later. Yeah, that one's, that's a definitely money thing there, so that one is good. Yes. Excellent, but we yes. say, wow, one so far. that's your favorite one. Yeah, so far. Yeah. Item number four! Woo! And it's kind of fruity looking. It's um, and I'll let you crab see. blueberry thick pie. And that says Big Pie on it, so, yes. And on the back, it says Blueberry, so. So we, that's how we, we know without actually reading it, but uh, she'll give you a brief synopsis of this item. With a name short for victory, this cookie will make you a champion. Uh, to be quite honest, the real victory isn't in the name of this crumbly chocolate-covered cookie. Anyway, 
It's in the yummy blueberry jam. The little blue fruit has a truly triumphant success story in South Korea. A decade ago, hardly any Koreans ate blueberries. Huh. Hmm. And it talks about more about them being a superfood. And yeah, they import them all the way from Chile and Oregon. So here's what it looks like before I take it out of the package. Now I'm gonna take it out. I haven't even seen it. Oh wow. And it looks like wow. this right here. It's chocolate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break I that in half. Have you can have the big half. No, I thought it said something on the front. It just says crown. It just says crown. Mm -hmm. You want to put it together? It just had a V Crown for Victor. Victor. It looks like the way V size. Oh my god. Wait. Okay. You're going to have to insert what that looks like. Because that, the way V. What's the part way Part of v? NCT. NCT? Okay. So there's a K pop correlation here. It's actually a Mando pop. But Can we? Know. Well, okay. Well, let's. It looks so. It looks exactly like it. And if you put it up on the screen, that's what it'll look like. Oh, we all. I, will. I don't Give really like the... blueberries, so. Oh, I get the big cap half. So let me taste first. Why can't we just taste this and have it? Go ahead, go ahead. Mm. It's a little dry. Really dry. It has a light texture, but the cookie... The flavor's good. I like the blueberry. The Mine. chocolate doesn't really come through much for me. It reminds me of a nougat. I really like it. But the cookie has a weird dry texture, like... I don't know. How to explain it. It's like very it, crumbly. Yeah, it crumbles up and then it pulls the moisture in. So you don't really get flavor. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't really you know. I like to take a drink while I'm eating to wash it out. I don't know, but we're yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so we're gonna palate cleanse on this one, but I'm thinking that one is it as bad as the hot for you? No, I think it's bad. You think it's better than the hot? And I think the hot was just like hot. That was like I hot. Don't, okay, I didn't mind it. It was just so weird. It tasted like kettle corn. It looked like kettle corn, but it was spicy and that threw me off. I get it. I get it. So, I if I had more, I'd be fine with it. So we're going to cleanse palate and then go to our next side. Yep. Okay. All right, item number, where are we at? One, two, three, four, five. Wow. We're at number five. Item number five. That's what we got here, and it's called Chuckle Heim, I think. Heim? Yeah, Chuckle Heim. I don't know. Same, same. I'm gonna put it on the camera. Whoa, that's a weird texture. I get it, but you know, I'm putting it on here so that they can see it. I, I think there's multiple of whatever it is in this little packet. So this is what it looks like. The packaging looks really cool. She says she's seen it in a K drama or something. I might have. It reminds me of a K drama, but I don't think it was actually uh, in it. You need to, to read and pay attention to the camera. Oh yeah. Uh, you might remember if you were, well if you were with us last time we went to South Korea you might remember this hazelnut cream wafer. We were not. It was voted one of the favorites. So we were unfortunately not a Universal Yum's uh, participant until the last month. So we do not have a nice memory of that. So basically, basically we're gonna try this for the. First it sounds time. like it's vanilla wafer with hazelnut cream. Which sounds good in my book. <laughs> does that ever a problem? There's two. Don't don't don't. We got. Like I told you, there's multiple in this package. Let's try not to waste all of our packages. So here's one for you, see? And then here's one for me. See, I, I get the broken, it? janky one. Can see? I split it like a Kit Kat? I prefer it not. Well, you're going to make our desk all messy. Okay, but, <laughs> but you know, she doesn't care about those things. So you go first this time. I'll let you do that. How is mm. it? Good. <laughs> Looks like a cram. It's mm. good. Mm, that is good. Here's what it looks like right there. It has a weird aftertaste, I'll tell you that. This is what it is like in the inside. See, that's the hazelnut chocolate. It's the wafer text exterior. If this was dipped in chocolate, I would say this would be a serious, like, home American. run. But that's very American of us <laughs> to want to take this and take it to a different level. <laughs> Let's dip it in chocolate and put a little jalapeno I have, in there. I have to say, I bet if I was coming home from school and I just happened to see this in a convenience shop, I would definitely buy it. If this was dipped in chocolate and made a little bit firmer, and then we had the opportunity to dip it in peanut butter oh, as a fun, that think that would be very American too. Peanut but butter that's is what it looks disgusting. Like. Mm. Make a peanut butter and jelly version. That mm. American. Mm. Mm. That is so good. That was very good. I'm glad we have another. We're gonna have to at the end go and rate these, and that's gonna be hard. All right, item number six. We're on the sixth item. There's a lot of items in this. This is that. I don't know. It doesn't say. It just says it's by Crown. Obviously, Crown is a 
uh, a company that we have a lot of snacks from. So yeah, she just throws it at me. Just throws it at me. Chamsa Sengwa. Sengwa? No, it's not Sengwa. Oh, I'm sorry for reading it fanatically. My American sensibilities just don't work well with it. It's Chamsa Sengwa. Yeah, uh, like. So you're about to taste South Korea's rich history. And when we say rich, we mean it. Back in 1500 BC, rice was used as currency in South Korea. Oh wow! Don't think pennies. Think hundred dollar bills. Rice was considered such a luxury food that was too valuable to eat. Oh wow! Now you can get it by the truckload. I bet they feel sick. Rice more. Feel like they really dodged a bullet on that one. Rice is much more affordable day, today, so you unfortunately can't buy a Porsche with these crackers. <laughs> However, they will be bring you a different kind of richness, rich flavor, as we, every crispy bite first with addictive soy saucy scrumptiousness. So there's two of them in this pack, so I'm going to show them what they look like. This is what they look like. Whoa! They're like a little, um, I don't know how to put it. What are it. they? What are those? Like a cracker. Called? This looks like, uh, reminds me of the ones I ate when I was a kid that tasted like chicken and biscuits. Ew. Oh, no. Not ew. Brilliant. But I'm just guessing that's not what I'm going to get when the I bite them. The 70s had weird food. Well, considering it was in the 80s when I ate them, I would presume 70s. Well, you were a child in the 70s as well. So, yeah. I was. She's right. I was a child. This tastes, this smells like chicken. Oh, let's take a bite. But it's red. Oh, that is... Mmm. <laughs> that one right, 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 what it looks like. It's like a, a, a rice cake. That's what it is. It's a rice wafer. I wonder why. Maybe because it's made out of rice. Well, you know, one of the skills I'm learning these days is called listening. And I think I'm doing it real well now. This is tasty. This, I'm going to say, and we've got another one. This is, this is great. It has a, a like a soy sauce that hits you up front with a little bit of that chicken um, richness. And then you have that, the, like the fried white rice. It kind of gives it this... I don't know, this trio of flavors that kind of give it a... You're right, I would feel lack bad. Lack of a better term. <laughs> I would feel bad if this is still worth money. Mm. A little bit of umami, as they call it. Like a little bit of savoriness mixed with a, a sweet, is another there soy. Is there even umami at all in this or anything? It's not umami is a thing, not a... It's not a... It's a, it's a feeling, not a... Not an ingredient. Umami is a feeling? Yeah, it's like the... Not a feeling, it's like... The... It's the savoriness of a dish. I described as how savory it is. I always thought the was There we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. That was good. That was good. That was very tasty. I'm going to say that might be my favorite, which is kind of hard I to say. Because those uh, chocolate turds <laughs> were so tasty as well. And I'm just throwing it out there. Woo! That was good. We're at item number... Seven, I think. Let me count them. I gotta count them. I have them right down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is item number seven. And what is item number seven? It's called a choco pie with green tea. Green tea, in it. choco pie. I'm gonna show you right here. From what it looks Lotte. Like. And you know, tell them what that is since you have an idea of what Lotte is. Lotte is just a very popular Korean convenience store. Yeah. And it's spread, it's spread all around the world. There's one, there's latte shops in, I think one in Australia they just came out with, one in Japan. Pretty pimp. Yeah, there's a lot. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the um, the convenience store we have here, like 7-Eleven, but for Better. Koreans. Latte stores are huge. Well, If you can find a picture, so. I'd put it in, because they're normal. There's nothing on the back, so I showed you everything you can see on the front. See? Yes. Really cool. So, let's see, give them an ex explanation this of what this is. This famous chocolate covered marshmallow filled cake managed to diverse one of the most dangerous borders in the world. The one between the North and South, obviously. The, oh, the chocolate pie is beloved by both North and South Koreans alike. Ooh. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you this stuff. green tea version has all the chocolate and marshmallow goodness that the cake became famous for with a fun matcha twist. So matcha has a weird aftertaste. I really enjoy green tea matcha, I just don't live for the aftertaste. Yeah, I'm gonna say that, and I think it hits you kinda in the face with, if you watch our, you need to go watch our um, Japan candy box, where we eat yeah. those matcha chocolate stick things. And like at first I ate it and I was like, oh that isn't so bad, but then there was like this, 
thing that comes over you about 15 to 30 seconds later and you're like, oh, whoa, that's there. Yeah, I it's had, there. Yeah, I had matcha green tea frappe from Starbucks and I was drinking it and I was like, oh, this is good. It kind of tastes like melted ice cream and then boom. And then boom, it hits you in the <laughs> face. So we're going to we're gonna show you this and then I want to split it so you guys can see the inside of it. Oh. See that? Look at that. Oh. Let you have that one and see that's what it looks like. I kind of want to know what the not green tea flavor <laughs> See that? They give you all of that, and then we got that all chocolatey. Oh, smell like It's like a, it's like a matcha moon pie. Yeah. The moon pies are really delicious. Mmm. Well, this ain't exactly moist. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right away. This is a very dry texture. You like a moon pie? Yeah. Although moon pies, I don't know there's something about them. That makes me very happy. I'll tell you what, I don't taste the aftertaste of this. Yeah. So yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm tasting the tea in it. Mm -hmm. This is not my favorite one. But I I'll really eat the like rest tea, of it. so I like this. This is good. I'm not a tea fan. I don't, I don't drink tea. And I usually don't eat it. Eat tea or drink tea. I really like tea. So, the texture... Did you say the cake is a little bit dry? Reminds me of the marshmallow is the marshmallow that you expect that I got out of a moon pie. And the chocolate, I don't I would say that's where the chocolate's a little weak. In my opinion. It's there, but I don't taste it front and center. The chocolate's always weak in a moon pie. Well, that's not as bad. But it the, tastes like the a green tea version, a Korean version of a moon pie. That's what it is, okay? It's a it's a Korean knockoff of a moon pie with matcha. Oh, that's so good. You liked it? You like that a lot? When were, hold on. <laughs> when were moon pies created? Oh, that was, I don't know. I mean, we can Google this, but I don't really want to. Because this was in the 70s. Hey Siri, when were moon pies created? Let's see how quick this happens. See, there you go. Not on Apple Watch anyways. So. <laughs> who was after the 70s then? We know who really copied who. So, that was item number seven, right? It was really good. Oh, now we have crumbs and cheese. That was item number seven. We're going to cleanse our palate and bring you the next one. Sonny! Not fancy. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> item number eight. And she's going to give you a brief description. Um, how, what, how did they say that on there? Coque d'Asse? I don't know. white tort? It's not clean. <laughs> it's French. Yeah, you're the use of French class. I didn't said you? it the way it's said in French. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like right here on the packaging. And it doesn't have anything on the back, so. I told you I was making a big deal about Pepero because you know about Valentine's Day, you now know about Pepero Day. What's Pepero Day? So now we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna learn something here. What, what if is Pepero Day? <laughs> what if we told you that there was a third chocolate-based holiday in South Korea called White Day? White Day is uh, the day like right after Valentine's Day, practically. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it after? You know, I'll get, well, I Valent know. Okay, in most East Asian cultures, Valentine's Day is a bit different than it is in the West, as is typically the women, not the men, who buy chocolate for their sweethearts. Um, but in 18, 18, but in 1978, Japanese women decided that they deserve a little chocolatey love, chocolatey love too, and created a holiday for men to get them sweets. The holiday is White Day. It's celebrated in, on March 14th, so like a month after so Valentine's Day. This is what we have. Is this is this cookie thing? And it's it, they're showered with white cookies. It's White Day. This is kind of broke apart, and the other one I can feel inside it is too. So Aww. this is what it looks like, though, and as you can good. see, there's some broken off. But we're gonna break it. Filled with decadent white marzipan. 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 Or is it say mascarpone? Mascarpone. That's Italian. That's like a. This treat is so delicious, you're going to have to break the tradition and let both and girls, both girls and guys, if you like. Well, we're doing it anyway, in a way. That's pretty good. You want you want the little crumbs in there, since you're like a fiend for everything sweet in this world? Mm -hmm. Do a little house cleaning here while I let you taste that. Now, it's like, um, you ever have a Heritage Farms cookies? They have the little... <laughs> like that's the chest what it, cookies? The what? Like the chest cookies. I don't know about the crackers, but the but the ones that are like I don't know how to put it, they're like heritage farm, they have a little bit of chocolate and that's what yeah, that's you know, like. Yeah, you the two pieces with yeah. the little, yeah, the chest crackers or whatever. That's what, like, why are they call them chest crackers? I, don't I think understand. I'm thinking of a different thing. She is. Because like, there's chest crackers with chest pieces in them. From heritage farm. That's not what this is. And these are really, those are really tasty. 
This is a really tasty snack. Um, not as decadent as I thought, but I could really taste that. I bet chocolate. if I was in Korea for White's Day. Did you I just take a drink? No, I thought about it and then I was like, wait. <laughs> That's okay. We can drink on the camera. We're just trying not to because it's kind of just weird. I bet if I was in Korea for White Day, I would really enjoy buying me chocolates or is it you that gets chocolates? That's what you. You made it sound like the guys get everything on Valentine's Day. Is that what I heard? Yeah, I would be getting this. <laughs> so. It was typically a tr oh, Valentine's Day was typically for men where the women would buy them stuff. All right, now this is kind of like item nine, ten, and maybe eleven. I don't know. This is called when you get Universal Yums, you get a yum bag. A harvest yum bag. And it has a multiple things in there, <gasps> and so we're gonna pull it open and we're gonna see oh, what's going on. I can't wait. We're gonna see. Oh, there's two things in this. All right, so let's dump it out right here in front of you. So we got two things. We, we got, have a lot of Jeju. What is Jeju? Jeju's a place in Korea. So, so there's this little candy here that, that says friends. So if you want to be my Mama's friend. Mama's rice candy. That's a candy. Oh, sorry. Why are you doing And then we have this other one that does not say friend, but it says Jeju Tangerine Jelly. See? Yeah, I told you. Jeju. Jeju. Jeju is an island. Uh, so, this is no ordinary tangerine. This bright, tangy orange hails from the South Korean island of Jeju. Jeju. Famous for its warm weather, gorgeous greenery, and vibrant blue waters. Should we, have, should we put Jeju behind us or in front of us? We'll do that. Yeah, we should we'll put let you Je see it. Jeju somewhere. Um, unfortunately, we can't bring you directly to this paradise, but we can bring you a taste of it with the world-renowned Jeju tangerine, locally called Gamgyu. Gamgyu? Gamgyu. Gamgyu. You. 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 Okay. What makes it so special? The tangerines are grown in rich volcanic soil, making them sweeter and harder than other oranges in South this Korea. Is a, and I'll show you this. See how soft that is? See how gummy that is? That, that's really pliable. It's really sticky, so I'm trying to use the, the thing, but you see how sticky that is? It's, it looks like they make it in sheets and just cut it. Yeah, give them to Let's give it a rip. Oh, crap. Oh. We have a lot of these. Why don't you just take this? I know. What does that remind me of? It sticks to your teeth that you eat all the time. I'm not even eating. Well, gumdrops. It's like a tangerine gumdrop. I don't like gumdrops. This is pretty good. It's this like is a, a tangerine. Yeah, like a dot. Like it sticks to your teeth, right? That's what I think of. Things that stick to your teeth. Dots stick to your teeth. Is this secretly an orange dot? Is this what? The secret of tangerine dot? Oh, that is good. That is tasty. What do you think? Good. Oh my god, they have exploring Jeju Island. We gotta, we gotta talk about what we're talking about. What was tasty? What would you think of the texture on that one? Like we said, it's like a dot, but a little bit softer in my opinion. Like dots are usually a little hard. That's probably because you get them like 15 days old. <laughs> But uh, but they're but they're a little hard, um, but it tastes nice. It has a little sweet flavor. It wasn't too overbearing. I like it. So now we're still in the bag of yums, and she's drinking. <laughs> I don't mind sweet. catching her doing that. That's always fun. <laughs> so and we're gonna go to this next thing that said friend. Mama's rice candy. Rice candy? Why not? <laughs> yeah. That's what it says. Ooh, this cool. is a hard candy. Should we do that? Hard candy is really hard. You just want to put it because we're gonna have to spit it out and try everything else. That's kind of weird. But here's what it is. Oh, so people eat... Ooh, that doesn't smell. That smells savory. This, I mean, you look at that, that makes you think a uh, lifesaver, but... So this is used in the Chosok uh, celebration. It's a three-day public holiday. Oh, what the hell's in it? Uh, There's something in it. There's something in there. That's like tequila and the worm, but this is a candy. Rice liquor. That's what this is? It says, so with this lightly... Well, okay. Oh, this she is needs family. To... Families incorporated fresh rice. Okay, hold on. When the rice is harvested in September, everyone celebrates with a three-day public holiday called Chuso. Families incorporate fresh rice into nearly every part of the traditional holiday feast. Bean stuffed rice cakes called Sokyon, fried rice balls of flour called Hawa, and even an alcoholic drink known as Shindoju, which name the literally translates to new rice liquor so with this lightly sweet candy featuring actual grains of south korean rice 
you're getting a delicious taste of everything that makes Chosok tradition so special. So that is rice. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna put it in my There's mouth for a minute and take a taste because it is hard candy and I don't want to bite into it. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth if you put it in your mouth. No, you have your own. Oh. We each have one. There's no way we can do hard candy like, like sharing. I mean, I could take it, put it in my mouth, swizzle it around and spit it into yours. <laughs> That'd be fun. That'd be very... Um, Holy crap, you're right. It just does not smell sweet. This well, is going there's in. there's rice in it. You know what this is? Mm. Popcorn candy. I know it's rice. But it tastes like kettle corn. It but it's good. That is good. I'd like to eat this. And I would love to just sit here and suck on this for a while. That's bad to say. I'd just like to sit here and suck on it. I'd love you know? to eat this during chill soup. I don't number 10, and it's, it, it, I don't Almond know. pepper up. If you've seen like uh, Japanese culture, these are very like Pocky-ish, pocky But this is thing. different, because this you use a Peppero Day. What's Peppero Day? Oh my god. That's okay. that, is that that other At 11 or? 11, many people stop to make a quick wish, but in South Korea, the number signifies something a little different. Peppero Day. Peppero Day. Peppero Day. Every November 11th, South Korea celebrates the holiday by giving loved ones these crunchy, chocolate coated sticks. How did this quirky tradition start? Some people point to a 1983 news story about two girls at a South Korean middle school who exchanged pepper in hopes that a slim looking staff would make them become positive. <laughs> Why? Why? I might have a baffled <laughs> face while you're reading this like, really? <laughs> Somebody thought that would Pepero happen. Pepper Day has exploded in South Korea. It's so popular that the holiday accounts for 50% of the annual sales of pepper. So as you can see, here's the box. And when you open the box, you have this bag. Um, so, whatever you choose the next time, 11 11 rolls around, you'll definitely be wishing for more. <laughs> Will we? I don't know. But it's almond pepper, again by Lotte, Korean number one brand. See, here you go. Look in there. You get to see first from there. Looks like sticks, so I'm going to pull one out. Oh, there's a lot of languages on the There's one to you. Is... Pepper. Oh. Pepper, pepper day. So, this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you guys a nice little profile here. What's the little crunchies on the outside of it? Almonds. Those are almonds. Okay, almonds Almond and pepper. chocolate, and it looks like a, like a is that a pretzel? Is oh, it, that looks like good. a pretzel. Okay. Mm. Mm. I hope to become thin. Mm. Well. <laughs> and tall. I think eating all these snacks aren't gonna help, but. Well, I mean, I'm already tall, but. <laughs> tall herb. Mm. Has a burnt taste to it. It does. To me, like a burnt bitterness, but not bad. Like, it's not super sweet chocolate, I think is what it is. It's dark chocolate. Reminds me of Pocky with almonds. And that's great, because I love Pocky and almonds. It's like taking two things you love and saying, <laughs> smack it up, flip it up, rub it down, hello. Just living it up. Sorry, I'm actually. It's fitting for this video. Maybe we'll throw it up here. We'll live it up at this moment. Item number 11. And what song would say heaven in K-pop? Heaven by XO, hello angel. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't say the word heaven, but you know, that's the name of the song. So we're well then, <laughs> and then, what was the point of asking you that question and then you telling me a song and it not be that? <laughs> All right, so she's going with item number 11. And here's what it is, it's strawberry sweet, sweet, and sour, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour too, strawberry. You see that right there? Very, very colorful packaging. Go ahead. <laughs> There's nothing controversial about strawberries, right? Guess again, during the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, an athlete on Japan's curling team was photographed eating one. What's wrong with that? When she described the strawberry as surprisingly delicious at a press conference, she reignited a decades-old debate between Japan and South Korea. What the Japan what? officials claimed the strawberries were rightfully theirs as they brought the first strawberries to South Korea. but. South Koreans claim they've worked hard to create a new blend yeah. of the Japanese varieties, one that's both super delicious and entirely their own. Either way, South Korea now rivals Japan in the strawberry yeah. market. And if this is if, if this incident is any indication, the competition is fierce, maybe even fiercer than the Olympics. Want to know what else is fierce? The sweet and sour flavor of the candy in your hand is juicy, chewy, and hopefully not too controversial. Is this controversial? Well, for us it kind of is because usually we chew gum at the end of videos, but because the, I know the last item we have is spicy, I thought it would be better to eat the spicy one at the end. Because it, it kills your palate spicy. What does this look like? A now and later or a um, 
or uh, Starburst. Yeah, but also looks like that one point of gum. Is this like gum by Tootsie? I don't know. This is very... Or bazooka? You mean like bazooka? Yeah, gum? bazooka. This looks very bazooka-ish. This is the little wrapper that it was in there. It tastes very bazooka-ish. I don't know what that says. What does that say? You know. I don't know what it means, but it says... Crown. Oh, crown! Crown! Crown, like <laughs> crown. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it says crown. Well, it's Conglish. And like... we've talked about Crown being a brand, so let's put this in our mouth. Let's see what it is. Okay, you've been eating it. Say something about it. It's good. <laughs> well, oh, what makes it good? It's very strawberry. It's very Starburst texture. I don't think this is gum. <laughs> it's sour. Oh, it's really good. It's a very sour strawberry. You sure it's not gum? Didn't it say it was gum? It said it was chew. Oh. No, it's a chew, so we can swallow it, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It keeps popping. Like, the more you chew it... Like, it keeps... The flavor keeps going. It keeps... Like, I want to swallow it, but... And, like, I want to keep the flavor. But I take a bite, and then, like, you feel the juice... Mm -hmm. It's really sour good. ...sour in and, and give you that next... That next rush. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very good. That. I love straw... You know how I am with strawberry shake. I had a strawberry shake yesterday. I love strawberries. The real thing, not shakes. Strawberry ice cream. That had a very, very famous. good strawberry flavor. All right. So funky. And item number 12. And I'm just going to say, when we got last last month's clue of spicy red sticks, and we looked up spicy red sticks. I didn't know they meant this so funky. was not what we thought. Because when you Google spicy red stick, it comes up with like a Moroccan thing. And so we thought, well, that's probably what it is. Because it was too obvious when you type spicy red stick into Google. Right? And doesn't Google know everything? Does it? You're not answering me. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> freeze. You've been caught red-handed in the best way possible. The red snack in your hand comes from the famously bright red Korean dish tteokbokki, which means stir-fried rice cakes. It may not sound appetizing based on that name, but during the Joseon Dynasty, Joseon Dynasty, yes, from 1392 to 1897, this dish was so special it was called Gungjeon tteokbokki, palace tteokbokki. It only served to royals. While the noodle-like noodle, noodle -like rice cakes were brown and plainly flavored back then, these were very bland royals, <laughs> the dish eventually made its way to the masses. By the time it was by the time it widespread in the 1950s, a chili pepper paste called gochujang had been added to the spice... <laughs> I can't read. Had been added to spice up the boring rice cakes both in color and flavor. You said freeze! <laughs> so I froze, and it's gochi jang, gochi jang, gochi jang. It's a chili paste. Now it's a Korean chili paste. I know what it is. They don't gochi pronounce jang. their a's. Ah, uh, bring it here. A. They do. Uh, you don't cook. What do you know? Hey, it's, I'm opening it. It's me. I'm the guy who won the toss. I'm the one who wanted to eat this. Doesn't matter. Yes, it I'm does. the winner of the toss. I get to open ah! and try, and you can't even open it anyway. You're, see, you can't do it anyway. So. I don't know why she's trying. I still have choco oh. pie on me. Just, yeah, but choco pie still has that going on. So, okay, so I'm gonna give you guys the look here. I eat See that, how it's in there? That looks, you know what it looks like? It looks like noodles, doesn't it? It's, it's Did you, I know what you just said. <laughs> but this is a, this looks really like noodles. It really does, grab one, grab one. Show it to them. Sorry, this is really potent spell. That's potent. That doesn't seem that potent to me. So this is where we're at. Like here, see, ooh, hollow. Says, I bet you could drink through that. Wouldn't that be weird? Like if you were to drink your drink through that? It's just so hot. Like I'm when you so were a kid hot. and you'd take your licorice and put it in your pop, and you'd drink your pop with licorice stick. Have you ever done that? No, I don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. That no one does that anymore. Am I alone? You don't my... do a licorice stick. You take a licorice, you buy it on both ends, it's hollow, and then you put it in your pop and you can drink your pop through it. It's not disgusting. It's what I did <laughs> as a child. My childhood was not disgusting. But this looks tasty. Do you want me to eat it first? Oh, so hot. I'm sorry, it's so hot on there. And that's the song my mama lives. Korean K-pop group. Okay. Isn't that that weird group that's like virtual? That's Momo Land? No. Okay. They're girls. They're real girls. Mm. 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 That's gonna get her. 
feels good. But... It's not bad. It's got a. Um, it's crunchy. Um, it has a sweet taste. To it. Has a hard crunch to it, not like a brittle. More like a brittle crunch than like a chip crunch. Like, but um, it starts off sweet and then has a little bit of a savory with the spicy at the back end. I really, I'm gonna say I really want to try real duck cookie. Makes me want to eat kimchi. Or duck cookie. Yeah. Which is just thin after, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't mind eating that. It's a, it's a sweet, it's a nice little wheat snack. I would eat this, and I could eat a lot of these. I really like this. All right, so here we are, and we've, um, we're going to look at the, because they have a little rating system here. Let's let them see that. No, no, not that yet. Not that yet. But you just let us, not that. We're not doing it, the, the, the puzzles right now. But here's your little rating system, and we're just going to let you know what we thought it was our favorite. So they have the, the spicy stick here, Choco Pie, Herrera, Pepperoni. Yeah, the strawberry snack was good. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say the weirdest. The weirdest. What would you say was the weirdest to you? I think it's the 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 rice, the weird rice candy. I love it. It's really good, but it was. Weird. But it is the weirdest. The next thing, what would we say was the worst that that we didn't like? Uh, I don't know. There wasn't any that I specifically did not like. The only thing I would say what was what was the. This one, huh? what was that? No, no, those were good, those were tasty. Yeah, like, those were about? like, there is nothing that I would say I didn't like, but if I had to pick the least favorite, the, the, the strawberry, I know, not the strawberry, no, the cheesy crimey, it's, it's so hard. To, so we got, I love I the will choco. say, sadly, I think my least favorite, and this is hard because I'm not really good, was the one that you really, was the chip. The cheese chips? Cheese chips. That is my least favorite. They're yeah. really unrememberable. Yeah, so put them out as the worst. Un unrememberable. Unmemorable. <laughs> they're really, they're not memorable at all. That's what she means. Yeah, I, can, I can't even speak English. So, <laughs> what would be our second best? Not our best. There's, I don't know what to choose. The turds. <laughs> the chocolate turds. The turds. <laughs> I say we go the second best because we no. both know we both like those a lot, but I don't think you would make them your favorite while I would, right? So I have my top four. <laughs> well, we gotta pick two. We only get to pick. Was the choco, choco ham, uh, the chocolate turds, the sh top five, strawberry pie, pepperoni, and chocolate pie. So to me, my two favorite things were the strawberry and the choco turds. I know that's a bad name, <laughs> but that's, that's what they look like. I mean, you've seen it. We showed you. It's so weird. My fa my favorite, I think, was the. Strawberry and Coco Hyde. So strawberry, let's go with that as our favorite then, because if we both think that it's my the... second best. Favorite. Okay, it's my second best too. So put that down there. So, <laughs> so strawberry is our second best, and we take this and and let, just to let you know, if you do Universal Yums and you take this and you post it to them, they see your thing, they might give you something free for participating. In really? The yeah, yeah. So, so we'll, they might. We'll, we'll we'll try. If we get it, we'll let you know. Um, so the best though. <laughs> The best is what I'm gonna go with the 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 hazelnut thing since you like that as well too. We're not gonna have to fight over it. No, I like that. I, I really like that. Of... Like I said, if we if we could if we could amp that up American style, it would be ridiculous, right? Like it would have chocolate on the outside, dipping in peanut butter with the peanut butter drizzle or some craziness on it. So hey, was, so mark it up. I was ready to play a game of Kai by a bow to settle this. Yeah. Korean rock paper scissors. So, and then so uh, yeah. That's it, right? We're done. We did it. We 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 did them all. So, what we need to tell you next, and she's gonna let you know right now what you need to do. Subscribe. To whom? To skip the line media. It's on the shirt. Yes. Need to subscribe and what else? Tell them everything they need to do. Watch our other videos, please. Watch them, yeah. Um, like this video, turn on post notifications, follow on social media, and... Pretty much, we're really active on uh, Instagram. Skip He's the line really media. active. I don't have the password. Uh, I would give it to her, but she's un irresponsible. You saw how she tried to use the box. Maybe, if I put it in there. May not. Listen. <laughs>
because I don't want people seeing that unsafeness. Would you quit doing that? So, so yes, we want you to like the video, post notifications, follow Instagram, and above all, we want you to have fun watching the rest of our videos and uh, and let us know if you if you really like it or if you'd like to try some of these things. Let us know what you would rate them. If you looked at these or if you've done this box and you know what we did, then we want to know how you would have done it. So, we want to tell you thank you for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Maybe that'll be an unboxing too. Yep. And she keeps her head down, keeps looking down and not paying attention to the camera. It's because she doesn't like it. But I do, so I'll say bye. 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 Open your eyes.